So false Christs, plural, and false prophets, plural, will appear and perform great signs and miracles to deceive even the elect, if that were possible. Notice that Jesus says, if that was possible. So if you're covered in the blood and you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you have the gifts of the Holy Spirit operating in you, it is not possible to be deceived of the devil. Amen. If a person um, say they have been, de 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 or he's been deceived of the devil, it's because he's not covered. Amen. Because along with the gifts of the Holy Spirit, one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is the gift of discernment, yes. the gift of knowledge, the gift of revelation, and those gifts of the Holy Spirit and the power of Christ we just read, if Christ keeps you, then the devil or the evil spirits cannot harm you. Amen. 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 So it is not possible, Christ said, to, for the elect uh, to be deceived or taken advantage of. Uh, I think I told you last week of this person who now has about 30,000 followers across the different states and um, countries, and he has now proclaimed himself to be God. And the people are following him. Um, but Jesus says, beware if any man says he's the Christ. And the first, the first thing about an individual that lets you know that he's a, an antichrist is if when he says he's Christ. <laughs> That's the first thing that proves him a liar because he's in the flesh. And Christ has now gone back to be with his father, seated on the right hand of the father. And if Christ was here on earth now, then the individual who claims to be Christ is not the only one who would know that Christ is here. Because when Christ comes again, he's not going to be just roaming around trying to um, make a name for himself. The word is that he's coming in the clouds and, mm -hmm. and there's going to be a, a sound of the trumpet and the skies are going to crack like glass and the clouds are going to be rolled back like a scroll and Jesus is going to come down but his feet is not going to touch the earth. Graves are going to burst open everywhere. Those who are dying in Christ are going to get up. And so if there's no grave of opening, no, no born-again believers have gotten up out of the grave. Whoever walks around saying, I'm Christ, he's telling a lie. Yes. <laughs> if Christ was here, the thunder that we hear that we heard earlier today is nothing compared to the sound that we're going to hear. Not only was the dead in the graves that, that in Christ get up, but those who have been buried at sea, they're going to get up. People are going to be out at tithing, surfing. <laughs> and, and, and those who are in Christ are going to get up. And you know what's troubling, what's more troubling is that church folk believe that kind of stuff. When somebody comes along and says, they get all puzzled. Could it be possible? <laughs> if he can't show me his nail scarred hands, if he can't show me his 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 pierced side and his river defeat, if he can't show me the wounds around his head where a, a, a thorn of a, a crown of thorns, 32 of them, as a matter of fact, was forced on his brow. Tell me you the Christ. You know the way to stop that foolishness? You the Christ? Let's play Russian roulette. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not violent. I'm just kidding. Okay. But that will put a stop to that foolishness. If you're Christ, you don't have to brag about it. Amen. Christ's work speaks for him. Amen. <laughs> All right. Um, 
Mark 13, 22. Kingdoms 
or the countries or the leaders or rulers of the various countries are getting ready to take the platform for battle. We are evolving into what is known as the one world order government. So that one person will rule, there will be one government and one person is going to rule this one world system. Um, the transition is being made in our, in our um, in the financial systems, uh, our financial institutions is being made um, in education, is being made in, in, in politics, um, is being made in religion. The Roman Catholic Church being at the seat of the religious um, spectrum um, is, is actually the place or the religious organization where all of the financial power is. Okay, the financial power is not in a particular government because the government actually borrows money from the Roman Catholic Church. Every sustained institution of finance, financial institution that is, is in debt in some way or another to the Roman Catholic Church because it is the largest religious institution in the world. Billions of dollars. So the stage is being set for, um, number one, the one world order government to come into place, but most importantly, is being set for um, Christ to return, for the rapture to take place. That's when the church, the body of Christ, the born again believers are going to be raptured out of here, taken out of here. That's you and me. Satan is going to be loosed for a thousand years. And we've studied that before. We'll hit on it again uh, a little later, perhaps in our next study. Okay, we'll pause here for observations and comments. God working through her. And 
God did not charge them against the people. And that meant Rahab. That in many times, when is there, when is it, when is it ever right to lie? And somebody said, well, if your life is in danger, God understands that you And that was that was a case. Yes, sir. Special prayer request. I want to ask that we would come as and gather around in the circle. We're going to intercede, we're going to pray uh, intercessory.